You are listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Rav Palm was once quoted as saying that in the 210 years of the Yidin were Mitzrayim, they remained pure, they didn't fall to forbidden relationships with the Mitzrayim, and the question is, how were they able to do this? How were they able to withstand Nisyonos and Mitzrayim? And Rav Palm answers, he says that Yosef HaTzadik, when he withstood his Nisayon, he imparted into the DNA of all Yidin the ability to withstand Nisayonos in terms of forbidden relationships and Nishmir Sanayim and Nishmir Sabris. And therefore, we have to try to understand what, are the, what were the tactics that Yosef HaTzadik used when trying to withstand that Nisayon. So the Rabbeinu Yonah in the Shara Avoda explains that a Yid always has to understand that he's a very chashiv individual. We have to view ourselves as B'nai Malachim, as B'nai Akash Baruch Hu. We are Kheleka Lekhamimal. We do mitzvot, we tefillin, we daven, we, we learn Torah. We are very chashiv. We're so chashiv in the fact that it's so beneath us to do a verus. If we view ourselves as so chashiv, then we can't fault the doing a verus. In fact, the Mesha Chachma of Meir Simcha of Vinsk in Parshas Pekudah explains that a Jew has to ask himself every single day when he's tempted to fall to an Avera, to a Taiva, to Nusayon. He says the stones on the ephod are called the Avnei Zikaron. And they're called because a person has to realize that and remember who are the names that are on the Avnei Zikaron. Who are the names on that ephod? Who are the names on the breastplate? And the names of the Shifteka, they are the names of the Shvatim, who are the sons of Yaakov Avinu. When a person looks at that and sees that and remembers who they come from, he has to say, it's beneath me to do an Avera. I'm a Ben of the Yaakov Avinu. I'm so Chashev, I can't do this Avera. And the Meshachachim explains that this is a tactic that Yosef Hatzadik used. When he was about to fall to the Avera, he looked at the window and saw Yaakov Avinu's face. And he thought to himself, I'm so Chashev. I'm so important. I come from Yaakov Avinu. How can I fall to this Avera? With that, I want to conclude with the words of Rambam in Hilchus Yesodi Ator Perak, Hey Halach Yud. And he says the following. Anyone who refrains from doing a vera, or does one mitzvah, not because he's scared, not because he has fear, not for kavod, because of a Kaddish Baruch who commanded him this. Kimenias Yosef Tzadik. When he refrains from the Savera, he's like refraining as if Yosef Tzadik asked no, he did himself. Me'eshes Rabo, from the wife of his master. Ha raised them the Kaddish Es Hashem. The Rambam says when a person refrains from going into an Avera, from falling to an Avera, he withstands in the Sion, he's on the level of Yosef HaTzadik Mamish. And therefore we have to understand one of the tactics that Yosef HaTzadik used was to envision himself, I'm such a Chashib individual. And we understand how Chashib we are, hopefully we'll be able to withstand in the Sion. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Physic Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.